What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and I'm back with a review of another Micro Nano Quadcopter. And this one is the E-Shine H1 Mini Ninja Hybrid. Now this brand, E-Shine, I'm hearing is a, a brand of Banggood. So this is Banggood's first crack at a, a, nano, a nano Micro Quad. And this is the quadcopter here and this thing is rather unique uh, it's unique in the sense that this is the world's smallest rolling quadcopter this thing is uh, it also has a rather unique build now looking at the bottom it looks like this thing could have possibly been uh, created from a 3D printer. The frame anyhow uh, it's really nice. I like the feel of it. I think the design is very different. Um, as you can see uh, they didn't they didn't use uh, the PCB board. They didn't go that route that a lot of the other uh, companies are doing uh, with their uh, nano quads. They're using a PC board a PCB board as the uh, frame for the micro quad and uh, I just really don't like that uh, I, which was why I gave the Cherson CX-10 a lot of uh, props and Cherson on the build that they had because they didn't go that route and uh, this thing is rather unique <laughs> it's different now that all the way down to the design of it they even put the um the the plug for the uh battery in the front there yeah, so the plug is in the front the the props are different actually let's compare this to some of the other micro quads so you can get an idea of the size this is the this is JXD's Airbus now it's let's match it up motor pod the motor pod the Airbus is a little more narrow looks to be uh, the props on this micro quad is a little longer than uh, the other ones also so uh, it and it does provide more lift uh, the, the, the actual motors uh, look to be the same size but the motors are a little more strong a little more powerful uh, because I, I noticed that this thing flies a little harder the yaw rate is really nice on this thing. It, it flies really nice. It's really stable. It has six axis stabilization. Um, I, the canopy comes off and the battery is removable. And it's a 100 milliamp hour battery. And I was it has a really long antenna in here. I was able to uh, find it, locate the antenna and bend it up through here and stick it through one of the holes in the canopy uh, for more uh, a better range and better reception so that's a plus I like that uh, let's go to the uh, transmitter no actually the LE let's talk about the LEDs on this quad this quad has LEDs uh, two in the front and two in the back let me see if I can get it turned on okay now the LEDs in the back are red the blue ones in the front they continue to flash though um, when you're flying but you still can fly this thing at night I've, I found that you still can being as though the red lights in the back they stay lit so the front the front LEDs blinking is more of a nuisance so to speak but it doesn't stop you from being able to fly it effectively at night so oh yeah and this thing does have an LVC warning the LVC warning is great on this thing uh, because after the LVC warning kicks in, after the alarm kicks in, you st they allow you to fly this thing uh, for quite some time before it actually loses power. So you have more than enough time to fly this thing back to you. You can be flying it really high or have it really far away and you don't have to worry about it just falling down. You have it. They give you enough time to fly this thing back to you. And then some. You can fly this thing around. It's, it'll still execute flip, execute flips uh, while it's um, in LVC alarm. 
So, uh, really nice implementation of the, uh, the uh, uh, low battery voltage alarm on this thing. And uh, now let's go to the transmitter. The transmitter is the same. It's typical of the uh, transmitters of uh, the micro nano quads. Uh, it looks just like it looks the same size as the uh, transmitter from the Cherson CX10. As you can see it's, it's pretty much the same size. Now, but if you notice, this one has extra buttons on this side underneath the uh, throttle. Oh yeah, it is mode two, so the throttle you have your throttle on this side. The the yaw is on the same stick with the throttle, and you have your uh, movement forward, back, and left and right on on your right side. But this set of buttons here, uh, on this side, this will change the rates. You only have two rates, but the yaw rate is pretty fast on both uh, rates. Let me uh, get it binded to the quad. Okay, yeah, so this this side here change, switches the rates. You hit it one time and it'll beep twice to let you know that you're in high rates. You press it again and it'll beep one time and this turns green to let you know you're back in low rates. But this side here toggles the LEDs off and on. So I thought that was pretty cool. That It's the first quad, the first nano quad that I have come across that you can actually turn the, the LED lights on and off so I thought that was pretty cool but you have to keep in mind that if you toggle these LED lights off and you're flying you won't it, they won't come back on for the LVC warning so uh, that's one thing to look out for and be mindful of and uh, so that you have the left and right trim here and this is forward and backward trim there is no throttle trim. You press the right stick in to get it in flip mode. In whichever direction you hit, it'll flip it in that direction. And the left stick, the throttle stick, doesn't have a, a press in function. So uh, yeah, so this this thing is rather unique. Uh, it it comes with a spare set of uh, blades as well as this roller here now I found that the roller it's it's a little difficult to snap on on snap on and off uh, so I found myself not really wanting to uh, you know put it on and you know keep removing it and uh, replacing it because it I was afraid that I might break the quad it you have to apply so much pressure that pressure to actually get this thing on but once you get it on, it, it works fairly well. Uh, I, I have been able to uh, get it to roll on the ceiling and roll on the floor. But actually, sometimes when it sometimes when you cut the throttle, the quad will end up like this. And then the props will hit the floor before you can... You can't just take off this way because the props will hit the floor. So it will not be able to right itself. So you have to sort of uh, spin it back around and then give it a little throttle to keep it up that that way to start again so uh, it's unique uh, if I could say anything about it uh, quite interesting uh, I, I really like it the way it flies without any of that stuff oh it all it also comes with uh, a set of prop guards now this thing was a little tricky getting the snap on here it, it snaps in between the boom the uh, spaces on the booms so uh, it's a little tricky trying to get them on, but I found that if you remove the canopy, it's a little more easy to snap into place, but it's really hard to uh, remove. I found that I needed uh, a tool, a small tool, uh, to help me pry this thing off of here. So I really don't like to put this on and uh, take this on and off. So put that on, and it's really hard to take it off. Uh, so that's all there really is to say about this quad. Um, it flies really nice. It flies strong and hard. It 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 can uh, take a little bit of wind outside. Uh, the the LEDs allow you to fly it at night. The yaw rate is pretty fast on both rates. Um, high and low rates have a pretty fast yaw. I think the yaw on this is 
uh, almost the same, if not be if not faster than the yaw on the uh, the JXD Airbus. So this thing is quite a performer. I think uh, Banggood did good for their first try at this. Um, so without any further uh, ado, I don't think there's anything else to say about this thing. So let's check it out in flight. Okay, this is the indoor flight of the Ishan Mini Ninja Hybrid. And we're going to be flying it with the stock transmitter. Okay, got it binded. Let's see. You can see this thing is really stable. This is yaw rate on low rates. This is the yaw on low rates. It's Pretty nice and fast yaw for a low rate. This is ideal for uh, flying circuits in indoors. You can see it still turns pretty quickly. You can see the front LEDs constantly flashing. And the back LEDs are solidly lit. Let's see the toggle. Uh, you can toggle them off and on. Uh, that's with the LEDs off. Okay, let's turn the LEDs back on and put it into high rates. Okay, this is high rates. Lost it. Let's see. It's pretty hard to uh, switch from low rates to high rates because of the position that they have it on the uh, transmitter. So this is high rates. This is yaw for high rate. The yaw is really quick on high rates. And okay, so the LVC warning has kicked in. And you can see I'm still flying it with no problem. You can even execute the flips. Whoa, a hard crash. <laughs> Let's see. So even though it's in LVC, you still can fly this thing around. It gives you enough time to uh, land a uh, helicopter. And you still can execute flips while it's in LVC alarm. So that's good in case you had the, the helicopter real far, really far away and you needed some time to uh, get it back in and land it. Well, it looks like one of the, I lost the prop. Uh, let me see. Lil, where's my prop, Lil? Are you on it? No? Well, actually, I guess that's all there is to show about it. Uh, you pretty much seen how this thing flies. And you've seen how the LVC warning still gives you enough time to land it. The Ishan Mini Ninja Hybrid. Thanks for watching.